Hello, my name is Christian from Tradevola, investing with know-how and transparency. Last time we spoke about the topic stocks, and if you want to watch this video again, you can see it here. Also, if you're interested in um, investing and trading, then please subscribe to our channel. Do not miss any of the next upcoming videos. And today we want to sp speak about the topic broker. First of all, what is a broker? What different types of brokers are available? And um, at the end, also a short summary for the topic brokers. Broker or brokerage is an intermediary between uh, you as an investor and the stock exchange. Um, what is allowed on your behalf to trade the securities for you? In the past, it was performed by a human being. Now these things are all automated and um, done online. And which different brokers uh, we differentiate? There is uh, full service brokers, we have introducing brokers, we have discount brokers, neo brokers and uh, market makers. I think full service brokers are quite rare because uh, they have a very high fee. They have a special service, normally they also have um, places where you can go for the support and there's a representative uh, for you personal who take um, care of all your needs. Online on discount brokers, I think is the most common as uh, most of you might deal with them. They have uh, good commissions, um, support is of course less than in a full service broker. We also have introducing brokers, uh, where we will see later two of them. Introducing brokers, they have normally a better support than the main brokers, also different um, commissions. But for these examples, you can also see the video for introducing brokers here. And then uh, we have market makers who provide also liquidity to the market as well as um, neo brokers who are specialized on a, um, yeah, on a part of the market with um, better commissions and um, lower fees in general. Today we will deal with uh, five online brokers. Uh, there's TradeStation Global, TradeStation Securities. We have SysTrade, um, which is also like TradeStation Global, an introducing broker to interactive broker. And we also have Saxo Bank and uh, Robinhood. And we will um, yeah, see different criteria for all these uh, brokers. We will check the support. We will also see if there's a minimum funding. We will see fees uh, for the account itself, commissions and uh, where the broker, broker is based and in which countries you can open uh, these um, accounts. Yeah, let's start with TradeStation Global, headquarters here in London, UK. Support is available in German, Arabic, English and Spanish via telephone and uh, via email. There's no minimum deposit. We recommend uh, to start with 1000 US dollar and the margin account in general starts with uh, 2000 USD. There's more than 135 markets available, same like with the main broker, interactive broker, because TradeStation Global acts as an introducing broker for IB. For the fees, we have 0.7 cent per share with a minimum fee of $1.50. So for our example, we want to see it always with 1000 shares. For 1000 shares, you will pay $7 as a commission. There's also no account maintenance fee and what is important um, which, uh, in which countries it's not available at the moment um, you can't open TradeStation Global account in the European Union as well as uh, Russia and um, some other um, countries. Then let's go to TradeStation Securities. It's a yeah, US broker with the headquarters in Plantation, Florida. There's only English speaking um, support via phone and via chat, also no minimum deposit and for everyone who is um, not located in the US, because in the US you can uh, trade without commissions for international clients, it's $5 per trade, so for 1000 stocks uh, we will pay only $5 here. No maintenance fee and um, yeah, you can open this account for example in the European Union, but you can't if you are residents of Canada or Russia. And um, the next one is SysTrade as an introducing broker to interactive broker. Also here with the um, place in Vaduz Liechtenstein. There's a German English support via phone and uh, via email. There's also no minimum um, deposit. We also have um, nearly 150 markets available 
and the only countries where you can't open an account is Russia, Canada and the US but you will find all links for the account opening also in the description below. For the fees uh, there's a minimum fee of one dollar or 0.5 cent uh, per share so you will only buy uh, pay five dollar for uh, per trade for this 1000 um, stocks which we have here as an example and if you are um, high volume trader you can have it even for two dollars for this 1000 shares for more information just uh, leave a comment we will be happy to give you all the details here next one is uh, saxo bank with a headquarters in um, denmark here we have a minimum deposit in the classic version of 2000 um, euro. We have a support in English, German and Czech. Um, we are online and um, for the fees in a classic account, you have a minimum fee of seven US dollar. So even if you only buy one share, you have to pay seven US dollars commission um, and it's zero. Um, or it's two cents per share. So for our example with the 1000 shares you have to pay 20 USD. Um, this is all for classic. There's also platinum and VIP available, but for this you have to fund much more. They have 50 global markets available and um, yeah, countries where you can't open an account is um, South America, Canada or Germany. The last one is also a US broker with a headquarters in um, Menlo Park, California. Here no fees like for interactive broker light or for trade station securities for residents in the US. It's the same. You don't pay any fee for stock trading. They have US stocks available and uh, crypto. There's also no minimum uh, deposit support here in English. And like I said, this account is only um, available for US citizens um, outside US, you can't deal with Robin Hood. You see there was not a big difference um, for all these five brokers in uh, deposit, uh, except um, Saxo Bank. But my two favorites are the two introducing brokers, um, TradeStation Global and Zistrade, because you have nearly the same fees or even cheaper fees um, for Zistrade than um, Interactive Broker. You have a very good support and even for buy and hold, you don't have any extra fees, no hidden fees. So I think these two, two brokers with all the markets which are available are quite um, good for the start. Trade Station Securities, uh, my third favorite, uh, if you want to trade US stocks and you are looking for automated trading. If you want to see for Trade Station Securities more information, also see the video here with 10 benefits of Trade Station Securities. Yeah, there are many more brokers available than the five uh, different brokers which we showed you. But you have to see which um, strategy, which um, markets uh, you want to trade and also what's important for you for the support and mainly where you're located. I think uh, the location um, is the most important thing to choose the right broker because as I said, not all brokers are available in all countries. But I think with this trade and trade station global, um, these are available in the main countries and with Interactive Broker as a um, main broker you can trade a lot of um, different um, markets. And if there's any broker which you are or where you are interested at the moment, um, feel free to leave us a comment. We would like to discuss this or show some more information on any other broker which was not shown here in one of our next videos. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hit the like button if you like the video and uh, leave comments if there's anything um, what you are interested in. Thank you very much and see you soon.